So today I want to do like a sample problem. I know you guys like when I do these kind of problems. So we're going to be doing a steel column problem. Uh, now, let me give you the parameters. So basically, <coughs> we need to choose a W12 shape um, for a 20 for a 20 feet foot span. And the type of steel we're going to be using is going to be A. 992, so I think that's 860. Uh, and this this beam, this column, sorry, is gonna be supporting a live load of 375 kits. Actually, actually, so it's gonna be like this, taking this load. <coughs> and here in this sample statement, we say that the base of the column is rigidly framed in both directions. So it basically it's connected in both directions, so it cannot move. Uh, the top is rigidly framed in the weak direction. So you have the section. In the weak direction, it's probably going to be this one or this one. This one. Okay? And fix against rotation in the strong direction. So, like this, I think. So, that, those are your parameters. Uh, now, your column weight, we're going to assume it's 80 pounds per feet, per linear foot, PLF. Uh, let's start using these parameters to solve this problem. So, <clears throat> first we're gonna get the required actual strength. Your PU is gonna be 1.6. This is from a uh, load combinations times your light load, 375 kits plus 1.2. This is gonna be from your <laughs> Dead load, you're gonna be getting your dead load, so it's like your 80 PLF times the span length 25, and then you're gonna be using a thousand for converting. Uh, this is in pounds over feet, and this is in feet, and you want it in pounds over kip. So you're gonna be basically converting it to kips, and you're gonna be getting a load of 602 kips. So basically, this is what you're you what you have on the beam. So you need to find a, a section that can take this load. Okay? Let me raise this and let me move forward. I'm sorry if I raise the parameters. Hopefully you wrote them down. And uh, good one thing that you can do, you can just like try to solve it on your own. You know, you don't have to be like just watching the video. You can be trying to solve along, pause the video and then you know see if you're approaching it correctly. Uh, a lot of these problems I, I, I solved it like a long time ago when I was studying for a certain exam or just in general but it's been a while so sometimes like it might take me a while to remember some stuff but I mean whatever <coughs> now for example now you're gonna need to find a column with the with the steel institute code with the black book or I don't know 50, now it's orange or red I don't know <coughs> so now you need a beam that supports 602 kits. This is what you need. You need a column that, sorry, a column, we're doing columns, a column that can take this load, right? Now, um, here in, 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 the, in this problem that I solved a while ago, they, they ended up, well, I ended up choosing like a 12 by 65. So this is the, the column, no, the beam? Yeah, the column. Yeah, this is a column. We're using an, uh, one, uh, what flange of the column, sorry. When I see one flange, I always think beams. When I call them something things like pipes or, I don't know, uh, HSS. And let's move along. Now, uh, we're going to, from table, from the AISC table 4.1, uh, we're going to get this radio, Rx over Ry is equal to 1.75. And we're going to use this equation to calculate the length. Uh, this is for strong and weak axis. We need to see to check that, like because it's bracing certain axis, we need to double check that. Kx Lx prime gonna be Kx Lx over Rx Ry. I where is this formula? From? Then you're gonna have 30 feet over 1.70 feet, and this is gonna be equal to 17.1 feet. So basically what this tells you, it means that the strong axis buckling controls um, because this is bigger than the other loading from the other 
length of epithelium, I think. From okay, what? Well, yeah, from because this is gonna be bigger than your KY LY. It's gonna be 0 0.65 times 25, so 16.25. So this one is bigger than this one, so <laughs> the strong axis buckling will control. Then you're gonna have to to use that table again to find the effective length. This is gonna be your effective length. And you find that the capacity of this beam is gonna be and uh, this is all the charts. You look from this from the AISE charts. It's gonna be 613 kits. So basically this is more than the capacity required of 602. So this beam, the 1265, will work because it will take this load. Um, I, I feel I need more organization with solving these problems, but I mean, I, I still think these are good things to do for me too. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, and if you think like maybe I should improve in some area yeah, or if you think you want to give me some tips, please let me know. If you want me to solve a specific problem, sure, send it to me and I'll solve it. Have a good one, guys. Subscribe.